Welcome back. This week in the course, we're going to talk about assessment of learning. Trina, uh, if I may, I'd like to share a little metaphor that I sometimes use uh, to, to help me think through what assessment of learning is all about. So I'm a mathematician, but uh, my astronomer friends uh, tell me that there's this stuff out there called dark matter in our universe. And it's called dark because we can't see it. And in fact, it doesn't emit or respond to any wavelength on the electromagnetic spectrum. So it, it really is kind of invisible. Um, but we know it's there because it has mass and thus has gravitational effects. And so we can see, in a sense, we can see what effects it has, but we can't see the dark matter itself. And what I think is really interesting is that the astronomers who are studying this are essentially inventing new tools to understand dark matter, to measure it in different ways so that they can kind of understand it in some way. So the metaphor here is uh, if we think about student learning, that we can see its effects, we can see what students do on tests and in our classrooms, but we can't see the learning itself necessarily. It's in their heads. Um, it's kind of dark matter in a sense. Mm -hmm. uh, assessment is a way to make more visible to understand the learning that's happening in our students' heads. Uh, like the astronomers who have to invent new tools, we have to sometimes think creatively about how we go about making student learning visible uh, so that we can engage in the kind of formative assessment that can inform our teaching. That's a really great metaphor, Derek. Um, and when I think about assessment, I tend to revert to the tried and true, write an exam, write a quiz, write a writing, create a writing assignment. Um, so I'm really looking forward to learning more about this formative assessment and how to write um, good assessment tools. And uh, this is the second step in the process known as backward design that we introduced last time. Um, and we need to link our assessments to effective learning objectives, which we created last time. So we're going to hear from Angela Little, who is a physics education researcher who is really good at thinking about both formative and summative assessments. And so she's going to um, go through how to create those. And she's also going to introduce some really neat ideas related to both growth and fixed mindsets, and how we can use formative assessments and good feedback to help our students adopt a growth mindset, which is really important for their academic success. So enjoy this week's unit and go learn about assessment.